The lag in lead times allows for more flexibility than we have with our standard four types relationships when it comes to linked task, as you recall in an earlier training video. For example, the lag time is a delay time between two linked tasks that adds waiting time. So, if I have one task that's pouring cement and it takes a day to do it, but it takes three additional days for it to dry, don't add another task unless you want to about, you know, waiting for cement to dry. Just go ahead in the original task where it says pouring cement, the default is one day, and then add lag time of three days that you can say, look, it's something separate. It's not really a task that needs to be completed, but it's required for the cement after we're done pouring it. And then for lead time, it's an overlap between two linked tasks. So, for example, down here when it comes to adding images, it's a finish to start relationship with its predecessor. So I have to wait the full 19 days before I start adding images. But if I add lead time, I can say, look, after 17 days, let's lead into the predecessor by two days. I can go ahead and start adding images. So to add lag or lead time, adding lag time is a positive number. Lead time is a negative number. All I have to do is go ahead and let me double click on add images. To add lag time, come up here, and if it's a day, go ahead and type in 1, hit enter, and it automatically defaults today. Click OK. Before I click OK, notice that the project finish date is November the 4th. Click OK, pushes it out to the 5th. And you can see, by hovering over that line between the two tasks, the relationship, the link line, that it has a lag of one day. In fact, if you double click on it, you can go ahead and change it to two days. Up arrow and click OK. And you can see it's pushed out more. You can also, um, instead of using days, type in WK for week, like one WK, or for month, uh, you know, for two months, two MO, and as we discussed in an earlier training video, when it comes to entering in our duration here, you can also do it the same when it comes to your uh, lag and lead times. Now, to enter in the lead time, let me go ahead and double click on that line really fast. Let's set this back to zero and delete that, click OK. I can go ahead and, well, double click on this, go to the predecessor tab, over here in the lag, the lead is a negative number, so instead of lagging, we're now leading by negative two, hit enter, and click OK, and then you can see the relationship line is coming around back in by two days. So after 17 days, we can go ahead and start the next task on a finish to start relationship between the two tasks. Now you can also do it with percentages, in other words, if you type in a negative 30% lead time, that would mean the successor would start after the predecessor is finished, 70%. So let me come back up here, double click. Let's delete that, clear it out. Whoops, you see the mistake I made? When I hit delete, it deleted the entire task. I don't want to do that. Click cancel, double click. Okay, let's just go ahead and type in zero, hit enter, click OK. We're back to where we started. So if we double click on this and we use the percentage and say negative, and then go ahead and type in a 30% lead, and then hit enter, click OK. You can see after 70% of the right content has been completed, it'll go ahead and start the next task. Let me go ahead and hit undo, and let me go down to task 15. And let's go ahead and do negative 50%, click OK. So, well, the uh, predecessor is two days, so after the first day, the very next day, we can go ahead and start the uh, next task. So instead of finishing on November the 4th, it's now November the 3rd by one day. And then last, you can come down over here in the uh, table at the bottom and scroll over to the right. You can see that the default relationships are finished to start. It won't show them because, well, it's default. That's part of project saying I'm not going to show the default relationships. And those that aren't defaulted, it'll show you what the relationship type is with that predecessor, SS, start, start. And then if there's any uh, change in lag or lead time here with the lead time, it'll show us the relationship type FS with the lead time there. Cool. And I'll go ahead and scroll back. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.